Heaven is the eternal home of every believer in Jesus Christ, and believers wait for their transportation to take up permanent residence there. Concluding his exhortations to press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus, Paul affirms the realities of heaven for believers. Our walk of faith is not a stagnant existence without purpose or destination. Our present-day goal of Christ-likeness inspires us to press on in our walk of faith, knowing that glorification of Christ shall reach its zenith when we are in His presence. For those with faith in Christ, our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like His glorious body by the power that enables Him even to subject all things to Himself. Heaven is God's predetermined destination for every believer. It is presently the place where residency is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It is where our resurrected life in Christ finds an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Heaven is predetermined, fixed, and secure in Christ. Heaven is our Saviour's home who is presently preparing it for his return to gather up his bride and take her there. So Christ's church, his bride, waits with expectation for this transformative event. Heaven shall not send angels for this job, not even the cherubim or seraphim, but the Saviour himself shall be dispatched by his Father. In this victorious event, with jealous love, Christ shall transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body. Christ's creative power shall again do his work of recreation in his followers. Paul explains, We who have the first fruits of the Spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. No power on or under the earth will be able to resist the sovereign glorifying return of Christ for his church. This indomitable exercise of the Lord's will that enables him even to subject all things to himself shall be irresistible. Heaven awaits us, and we await our Lord of lords and King of kings, who shall do our final work of transformation into heavenly suitability. With the certainty of heaven in Paul's sights, he reminds the Philippian believers how they should live in response to this awe-inspiring hope. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. Just as heaven is real, and just as Christ's return to rapture his church is real, so believers' response to these certainties is to be real also. Christians are to stand firm with resolute determination, unmovable in these truths of heaven and Christ's return. This is foundational to the longevity of our Christian walk, this side of heaven. Jesus taught that if anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honour him. To follow Jesus is to serve Jesus. One of the ways in which the Father honours those who follow his Son is by ensuring that they will always be with his Son in heaven. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. Today we must rest and rejoice in the certainty of heaven and our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ.